G'day, Dr. Jonathan Howard here. Um, we're going, today we're going to make a video on microchipping your pet snake. Um, so, a lot of people don't know, but you can actually microchip your pet snake, lizard, bird, turtle, um, you know, rabbit. Um, people think it's usually reserved for dogs and cats, but you can actually do it for your pet snake. It's a good thing to have if your snake escapes. Um, then you know someone finds it, any vet can scan it and then look up on a database. But after you microchip your snake, you do actually have to put it on a database. Here in Australia, it's called the Australian Animal Register, and I'll provide a link in the description below. Uh, but once it's on there, if anyone finds your snake, they can re uh, look up that, they can ring the database and then they can put you back in touch with your snake. So, here we have a pretty little jungle carpet python. Uh, we're microchipping this on behalf of the Central Coast Herb Society, um, one of their rehomed animals. So, um, you know, it's already been lost and they found it, so when they're rehoming it, they're going to microchip it so, you know, it gets reunited if it ever gets out again. So, with microchips, um, a lot of people are concerned about the size. Um, we use the mini microchips. Um, these are one and a half millimeter by nine millimeters, so really tiny. You can see it against my pinky finger. It's really small, so you're not even going to see that underneath the skin of your average snake. Um, the position, okay, so here's the injector. The posi position that we do um, snakes, so generally for snakes that are over 100 grams, we'll microchip in this position. Um, the standard position is Here's the cloaca, and we go on the left side, about four to five centimeters towards the head, just underneath the skin there. So we go, there's the belly scales, and then we got the normal scales there. We just go in between there, underneath the skin, injected, pop it out, and then afterwards we scan, and that's it. So, this snake's been microchipped, it was that easy, we didn't even have the head restraint, jungle pet happens are known to be a bit bitey, she didn't even bite me, so that's how easy and pain free, relatively pain free it is. So, hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll catch you later.